hello everyone welcome to my channel this time around we're looking at uh, complex and concave uh, lenses to start with let's look at what lens is lens is a transparent object that refracts light rays such that they diverge or converge to create an image like mirror lenses form images but lenses do so by refraction rather than by reflection as we all know mirror forms are images by reflection while uh, lenses they form their own image through a process known as refraction now we have uh, two types of lenses as well and uh, they are identified by their shapes as you can see in the two figures below now the first one we are seeing on the screen here is uh, known as converging lens which is also known as a convex lens now how is this one different from the other one uh, if you look at this one very well it is thicker at the middle why uh, the rim is thinner that is a uh, thicker at the middle than uh, it is at the rim that is as you can see here this part is thick compared to this end of the lens now let's consider the second one the second lens that you can see on the screen here is uh, what we call a diverging or concave lens as you can see this one is thicker at the rim compared to the thickness at the middle so that is a diverging or concave lens and uh, we have some part labeled already on these lenses let's quickly look at them and their functions now first one is optical center optical center of the lens is the center of the lens as you can see the center of each of the lenses is label c this place is referred to as an optical center and you can as well see that in uh, the concave lens we call this place a uh, optical center of the lens okay now the next thing we are looking at is a uh, principal axis that is the line passing through the optical center of the lens and it's similar to what we discuss in the spherical mirror we also have a focal point as we discussed in the spherical mirror the focal point which is also known as a principal focus is the point at which uh, all is parallel and close to principal axis converge or diverge after refraction through the lens but in the case of the lens we have our two principal foci because a light can come in, into the lens through either of the side of the lens now the next thing is a focal length as we discussed in a spherical mirror focal length is the distance between the optical center of the lens and the principal focus and the last we are looking at here is the power of the lens power of the lens is the reciprocal of the focal length of the lens it is measured in delta when f is in meter that is when we calculate our focal length we convert it to meter and the reciprocal of that value that is the value of the uh, power of our lens okay let's see the lens formula also similar to what we have in a mirror we have mirrors formula so we also have a lens formula this lens formula and uh, we have it as one over f that is one over focal length equal to one over object distance plus one over image distance and uh, there are some facts we need to know about uh, these um, lenses as well before we can carry out any calculation on them what are those facts we have them here Number one is that uh, the images formed by a converging lens may either be real or virtual depending on the position of the object. Why the images formed by a diverging lens are always virtual, erect or diminished for all positions. Wherever you put object in front of a diverging lens, the image will always be virtual, erect and diminished. And the next one is that uh, object distance is always positive except in the case of multiple lenses. That is. We always have a positive object distance except we are we, we are using more than uh, one lens now the next one is uh, 
image formed by lens is real when it is inverted and on opposite side of the lens. That is how uh, in our statement, whenever we see inverted image, it means uh, we are talking about real image. Um, uh, when we have a real image, it is always formed at the other side of the lens that is in opposite side of the lens to that of our object. While we consider image to be factual when the image is erect and is formed on the same side as the side where the object is. Now, the next one is uh, focal length of a converging lens is always positive, while the focal length of the diverging lens is negative. Also, the factual image is uh, having a negative distance, while the real image is having positive distance. We are familiar with uh, uh, all those two statements already. So let's uh, apply these uh, five statements in solving problems. Okay, let's consider our first example here. In our first example, we have an object placed 12 cm in front of a convex lens that is converging lens and uh, it produces a factual image of magnification 3. We have to calculate the focal length and the power of the lens. If you can remember, we discussed uh, the word magnification in a spherical mirror as uh, uh, image distance divided by object distance. And according to this question, we have an object distance given as 12 cm because the object is placed 12 cm in front of the convex mirror. And we have a magnification to be 3. According to the question, uh, we have to find the focal length and the power of the lens. But in the question, we have another thing that we need to consider because uh, the lens produces a factual image according to the question. So when we have factual image, based on this uh, equation, our magnification will be negative, definitely. So that is why we have a m equal to minus 3 here. Now we can use uh, this fact to know the value of our image distance. Since our m equal to v over u, it means our v will be equal to m u, as we can see here. So using that, the value of our v will be equal to minus 3 multiplied by 12, and that will give us minus 36. Now coming back to lens formula making our hair which is focal length the solid of the formula we have uh, this equation here so substituting the value of u and v into the equation we have a 12 multiplied by uh, minus 36 that is uh, object distance which is 12 and image distance which is minus 36 uh, divided by minus 36 plus 12 and uh, working around that we have the value of our focal length to be equal to 18 centimeter which is also equal to 0 0.18 meter. Now, the next question here is uh, we have to find the power of the lens. Power of the lens equal to uh, the reciprocal of our focal length, that is focal length in meter. So that is why we have uh, 1 divided by 0 0.18, and that is equal to 5.6 diopter. Diopter is the unit of uh, power of the lens. Let's consider another example. In our example 2, uh, an object 6 cm high is placed 60 cm in front of a concave lens of focal length 20 cm. We are to determine the nature, the distance, and the height of the image formed. That is, we are to look at three things here. We want to know the nature of the image formed, the distance of the image from the, lens, from the uh, center of the lens, and the height of the image. What are the given parameters? The first thing that we have here is the height of the object which is 6 cm also the object is placed 60 cm from the concave lens and uh, the focal length of the concave lens is equal to 20 cm now in the case of concave lens from the fact we studied before attempting the question we realize that uh, the focal length of a concave lens is always negative that is why we have a f to be equal to minus 20 and according to the question, our object distance u equal to 60 cm, image height equal to 6 cm. We are looking for v and the image height, our object height equal to 6 cm. We are looking for our image distance and our image height. Using the lens formula, 
made a phi dissolute of the formula and we have this equation we can as well just substitute and find the SCM that is we can just have a 1 over 60 equal to we're looking for phi so we can say 1 over 60 plus 1 over V equal to 1 over minus 20 and find our SCM we know that 1 over V will be equal to minus 1 over 20 minus 1 over 60 and uh, our SCM will be minus 60 whereby we are going to have a 3 minus 1 so playing around that I'm going to have minus 3 minus 1 so that will definitely give us a minus 4 and uh, using that we still arrive at minus 15 because we're going to have our 1 over v equal to minus 3 minus 1 over 60 and our v will be equal to 60 over minus 4 and that is minus 15 centimeter either way we still arrive at 15 centimeter okay now well since our image distance is negative we have minus 15 centimeters so the nature of the image it means our image is a factual image so we've done two things now we've calculated the distance of the image which is minus 15 centimeter and we realize that the image is a factual that is the image is formed on the same side as the side of object now what about the uh the height of the image as we, if you can remember, when we're dealing with a spherical mirror, we have a magnification V over U equal to HI over H naught. That is a V over U, that is image distance over object distance equal to image height over object height. So that is what we have here. And uh, according to our question, our image distance is 15, while our object distance is 60. And we're looking for our image height. So making the image height the subject of the formula, we have the value of our image height to be equal to 1.5 centimeter. Okay. Now let's look at another example, which is example three, probably the last example that we're going to consider. Okay. Now we have a, a length of focal length 15 centimeter that forms an erect image which is three times the size of the object we have to calculate the distance between the object and the image now let's look, let's look at this question very well from the knowledge of uh, properties of image formed by the lens that you can get from uh, any of your course book we we'll realize that uh, when we have an uh, erect and magnified image formed by a lens this only happens when an object is positioned between the focus and the center of the lens and the image will be factual and uh, magnified let me repeat that when we have a uh, erect and magnified image it means the object is positioned between the focus and the center of the lens of a convex lens that is when this happens so that is the essence of a uh, this information that we have here the entire information here that is the information is coming from the question because the question says we have a, the, the lens as a focal lens are 15 centimeter and it forms a red image which is 30 times that is bigger than the object that is erect and magnified image okay let's bring out our parameters we have our focal length to be equal to 15 centimeter and uh, we have our magnification to be minus 3 because uh, we know that this image will be a factual image so we have a magnification to be equal to minus 3 so we have to find the distance between the image and the object and uh, having a magnification to be minus 3 it means we are going to have minus 3 equal to v over u which means that v will be equal to minus 3 u and that is what we have here now using the lens formula again applying our lens formula and making our f the subject of the formula because the value of u and v are not given in numbers we have them in letters so we make our f the subject of the formula and we have this now from there we substitute the values that we have into the formula so our focal length is 15 
our u still remain u y our v equal to minus 3u so that is why minus 3u is replacing v in this formula and also the number the denominator part of our v minus u so our v is minus 3u and we have uh, u here as well so working on this mathematically u multiply my by minus 3 you will give us minus 3 u square that is what we have here that is what we have right here y minus 3 u minus u that will give us a uh, minus 4 u and minus 4 u if you cross multiply with 15 that is here we are going to have 15 equal to minus 3 u square divided by minus 4 u so if we cross multiply here that is what will take us to minus 60 u equal to minus 3 u that is 4 u multiplied by 15 will give us minus 60 u and uh, from that we can make u the solution of the formula therefore we are going to have uh, u to be equal to 60 divided by 3 and that will be equal to 20 centimeter okay that will be equal to 20 centimeter and uh, that's the value of our u so we can easily find the value of our v now now if our u is 20 and the v equal to minus 3u we can easily calculate the value of our v here and that is what we did here having v equal to minus 3 multiplied by 20 and that will give us minus 60. now from this information you could see that uh, our v is factor that the image is factor and uh, it means that the image formed on the same side with the object now in that case if this is our image on the same side with the object and we have our lens here definitely we are going to have uh, if we have our lens here and this is our principal asics definitely the distance d between the lens and the at the object and the image if the object is at uh, 20 centimeter from the lens and the image is at uh, 60 centimeter from the lens the image is at 60 centimeter from the lens and object is at 20 centimeter from the lens definitely we have the distance between them to be 40 centimeter because uh, that is what we did here exactly so that we have better understanding of this this one stands for how I mean, let me draw the diagram again. We have our lens like this. Let's say this is our previous if our asics. We have our object and we have our image on this side. So if our image distance from the center of the lens is uh, 60 and the object distance is 20, definitely the distance between them will give us uh, 40. So the distance is equal to 40 centimeter. And that is what we did here to have our minus 40 centimeter. And with that, we come to the end of uh, this uh, topic. If you have any question, please feel free to drop your question in the comment section and the question will be attended to. And always do remember to like uh, the video if the video has added to your knowledge one way or the other. And uh, do remember to subscribe to our channel so that you have access to our subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.